Hey, hey, YouTube, this is GamerCore, and if you want to learn how to make a skeleton XP farm like this one, stay tuned because we're about to get started building it. The first thing that you're going to need to do when you're creating your XP skeleton farm is we have to find a skeleton spawner. So when you become brave enough or have enough supplies to do some cave exploring, that's what you're going to need to do because we need to go ahead and find a skeleton spawner. So let's go do that real quick. All right, so after we've done a few days of exploring or whatever it might take you to find one of these things, we've come to a skeleton spawner. So we can check the contents of the chest. We got some few good items in this one right here. And of course, we have skeletons that are already spawning. So we're going to go ahead and place torches all the way around this thing. Make sure that skeletons can't spawn anymore. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a sword diamond sword preferably and let's go ahead and wipe out these skeletons we don't want them here any more man this is i'm not used to uh this bad of a sword to be completely honest with you guys so there we go now that we got the skeletons out of here we can start creating our xp farm so let's go ahead and destroy this chest so the first thing that we're going to do is it's pretty much already laid out really nicely for us. If you look at it, it's three back, three wide. It is about as perfect that we need to be. So what we're going to do is we can choose whatever direction we want this to go. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to have it flow this way because I see lava over there and I really don't want to necessarily deal with the lava. So we're going to have the water flow that way. So what you're going to need is a, an infinite water so source. So in this case, if we got ourselves a couple buckets of water, that's what we need. And then we can create our infinite water source wherever you would like that to be. So say we're going to put that, you know, right, right there. So, you know, just fill it in, make yourself an infinite water source. And that's pretty much all you're going to need in order to make this build. Um, the other thing that you're gonna need to do is you will have to go to the nether and get one piece of soul sand or two or three, however many you would prefer, but we really just need one in this case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig down around this and we're gonna go uh, two down all the way around. And you can collect your re uh, your supplies as needed in this case. So I am going to leave that one uh, cobblestone right there, that mossy one, uh, just for the protection so that uh, skeletons don't spawn out of that. But we just need to base dig out this entire area by two. All right. So once you get to this point, what you're going to want to do is we're going to make ourselves a, a wall around here like this. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be an entire big wall and it can be made out of whatever you prefer. Um, if you want to make it look fancy, by all means, go ahead and do that. You don't really need to. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to carve out this wall. So it's already six because we got one, two, three, five, six, seven. So we, did, uh, we just have to go eight. And this should be the end of our water source and we can hear a witch in the background sounds like she's laughing at us so we're just gonna put a piece of water right there and as you can see that's the very end the reason that we have to dig out two is this is where our mobs are gonna go ahead and drop down for us all right so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna dig down as far as you really want to go um, you can go down three, you can go down four, you can really go down however many you want. I don't remember how many I actually went in my survival world, but I think three is good for this time. time. Let's go down four. We'll make sure that it's nice and good for us. So the next thing we got to do is we'll create a little bit of a tunnel there because our water is going to run from here down to there. Okay. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do as we're going to go ahead and fill this entire water or this entire area up here. So if you don't build that water wall first, which I probably wouldn't recommend, you, don't, you want to get access to your infinite water source as easy as possible. We're going to drop down here. Um, I don't really need to see the torches, but what we're going to do is I'm going to grab some so you guys can see what I am doing since I am in creative mode. Let's go ahead and grab that like this. And as you can see, we're pretty much right at bedrock. So uh, what we need to do 
here is if you would like this to be kind of pushed out further you could put packed ice down here so if we grab some packed ice go ahead and replace our bones we can put that right there and we actually found diamonds too uh, that's kind of interesting that's a nice little little spot right there to find some diamonds and we can dig this out a little bit further if we want it really depends on how far you really want this to go um, but in this case what I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave it uh, right let's put our soul sand here and that'll be perfect actually and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our packed ice right there what we need to grab is a sign or a ladder of some kind I prefer a sign because mobs can't jump onto that but they can't really jump onto um, the signs either or anything so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our wall here. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig up really however far you need it to drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the spot or the basically the viewing area for this thing be uh, actually we'll just do it right in here. So we just dig this out a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to create a glass viewing area so that we can see everything. I need that to be three high which it looks like it is. We're gonna dig all of this out here, however big you want this to be. It looks like we're digging ourselves into another <laughs> cave system over there, which is perfectly fine. So we'll just actually dig all this out, may as well. The good thing we didn't go like terribly far away because uh, we would have ran into some more lava that would have been extremely bad in this case. But if you need obsidian, it's right there, so you can make your nether portal if you're if you're doing your, your cave searching. All right. So what we're gonna do is I think I'm gonna have everything just go ahead and fall right into this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and block off this water source right here. There we go. So what we're gonna do is everything is gonna fall right into this area right here i think that's a pretty good area for us to put our slaughtering station there we go let's go ahead and just kind of build that up around so what they're going to do is they're going to fall right from this area here let's kind of let's light this up a little bit i'm i'm not seeing the witch but uh, that she sounds like she's pretty close She's laughing at us. She thinks that uh, our XP farm is a joke, apparently. So, yeah, I guess it is what it is. I mean, they're not. she's not very friendly about it, I guess, but that's fine. So we might have to build up part of our system here. I got lucky in my survival world. I didn't have to do this part of it. I could actually just dig around it. So there we go. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and dig up. I think uh, let's go up about uh, 15. We got one, we got uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think we're gonna need more than this. Let's go ahead and light this up as well. Oh, we found ourselves a nice little uh, mining system. <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember the exact number of, of blocks high that uh, the spawners basically need to be at in order to create the perfect mob droppings. So let's go ahead and fill this up real quick. Let's light this up so we can see what we're doing. And let's just go up a couple more. That should be pretty good, I would say. I think mine's a little bit taller than that. So we'll go up to about there. All right, so now we need to go back down and kind of figure out where our item is. So we got one, two, three, four away. There's a three gap, and that's back two. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dig up. Okay, perfect. Now what we need to do is kind of go around to the other side. And it, it's going to take a little bit of time. You're going to need ladders because you're going to be digging this out. I mean, you can you can build this really however way you would like. I obviously am in creative mode, so it's going to be a little bit easier for me to do this. So 
got to remember which direction I'm facing here. So I got to face this way. So let's go ahead and go too high. And let's do this. Let's see, that's one, two, three. And it should be right in there. I think is where we need it to be. We definitely got some more mobs that are coming around here. All right, there is there is our area that we need right there. Perfect. It's looking really good. Let's go in and carve this out a little bit. Perfect. So what they're going to do is they're going to come up here and they're going to flow around this area, which I just need to I make it actually a little bit smaller because the water is only going to travel seven for us. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, which is absolutely perfect. That's what we need. So they're going to come basically around here and then they're going to get they're gonna, The water is going to stop here and then it's going to be pushed right off of here. So once we kind of come down here, uh, what we're going to need is we're going to need more wa infinite water sources. So if you want to make this four tall, you definitely can, or four wide, because by placing um, the um, the water on soul sand, the four by, you can create a, um, an infinite water source. If you only want to do one like I'm doing here, the best way to do it is go ahead and... You know, you got over oh, here. We got a skeleton spawning, so we need to move you out of the way. We also need to uh, put a sign there and there, so that water doesn't flow back into that area. All right. So if you want to do this, uh, you could do you could do kelp would help you um, kind of get this up here a little bit better. Otherwise, you're gonna have to go up. A ton of water buckets, which can take a little bit of resources. It just really depends on wh which way and style you want to do this. And now that's all filled, perfect. We actually don't need that much water up here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one block there. It's going to come around here and it's going to stop right there, which is exactly what we needed to do. And then they are going to go ahead and fall down here. So if we want to light this part up, we definitely could do that. It doesn't really matter so we can see if any mobs are coming. So they are going to come around this area right here and then they're going to fall right into this area. So we can go ahead and let's go ahead and light that up a little bit right there. So what I did in my world is I made, I grabbed myself a hopper. We'll just replace whatever we need. And then the first one, I put one here and there. And then I did one in, into there like so. And then we just need to fill this front in with glass. And that's really about all there is to do in this build. So right here is where I would, when I where I would slaughter them, which is which is pretty which is pretty nice. If you if you want to put another you know one like this, so you're not quite getting all the way in there, that's perfectly fine. It's really a, however works for you. And then what we can do is we can you know just set up a, a chest. So let's go ahead and actually get rid of this one for the time being, and let's go. We'll actually just, just build it like that for the time being. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig out this wall so I can get out here. And then you can fill it back in. And you can really do this however you want. You can put this into a stream. You could have water taking it um, off to somewhere. Or you could just have you know a chest right here. So that's where all of our droppings are going to go in from this mob farm. So really, only thing that you have to do now is just get rid of the the torches. Make sure that we don't actually hit our mob spawner. That would be pretty bad. And then the last thing you need to do is get rid of the mossy cobblestone right there. 
and then just replace this with glass so we can kind of see what we're gonna do and what we're gonna we're gonna do is we're gonna put a one on the floor so that way we can kind of see what mobs are falling down into the area right now and of course we already had our first skeleton drop down so that's pretty nice it actually is it actually works pretty fast and as you can see there's quite a few of them down there already they're being pushed on the ice and pushed up a little bit here so we should be getting a couple more they're gonna fall down here perfect if you want to put replace this entire front with glass you definitely could do that but we should be one shot kills or two shot if you if you did uh, if you needed to go higher definitely go ahead and do that but this one takes no redstone um, you could put torches, you know, along this back wall just to kind of light this up so that nothing spawns right here. Because that doesn't really matter because they're going to go ahead and spawn a little bit more with that. So the skeletons are being pushed. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit. They kind of get stuck on the ice a little bit. Um, and you could create this to go back further if you needed to do that as well. So... Uh, just keep in mind that I am using a non-enchanted diamond sword. So on my survival world, if you guys have seen that, I have a, I have a stronger, I have a sharpness, I've got a flame. So I definitely can destroy my mobs uh, with 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 ease with my, my, my the diamond sword that I have in my survival world. So we should be getting a couple more now coming up because we had a couple more dropping in there. So looks like two more are going to come. This one might be pushed in by him. Which he did actually push himself up. So we should be getting like four skeletons here in just a moment. And the one thing that I will will show you here real quick is if we change our game mode back to survival. And I do mention this in my survival world is that the skeletons really don't ever shoot you. So some people put like a slab here to protect it or I've seen different variations But if you go up one high And put a glass there you you can't seem to they can't ever seem to shoot you Which is absolutely perfect. They, they can kind of see you, but that's really about it So we can go ahead and slaughter these guys and then get our XP And if you have a mending sword, which is what you're gonna do so create an afk fish farm and then you can mend this and just mend your tools like crazy. But look at look at the droppings that we got in just a few minutes of this. So I definitely recommend that you guys put this in your survival world. The, the hardest part is finding that skeleton spawner so you can create a skeleton farm. But you have your bones for bone mill. You can use it for pretty much whatever you need. Um, you have your arrows. You have your, your, um, your bows as well. So a lot of good droppings that are coming from these mobs. You, you could create it for other ones as well. Um, well the spiders. The spiders are going to be a little bit more difficult because they will climb up the wall. So you're going to basically want to do it with either skeletons or zombies are the preferred ones if possible. So that's pretty much all that I have for you guys today. If you guys are enjoying these types of tutorials, go ahead and give me a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It helped me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys keep slaughtering those skeletons. See ya!